Hey guys, Razorblade Mango here. Finally, finally, we get to talk about my favorite of the of E3. The only one that I think took advantage of PlayStation not being there. Nintendo. Yahoo! Yahoo! Uh, there's a fuckload to go through. Like, a ton. Um, we'll try to keep this, like, like, we're trying to keep all these under 30 minutes, but Nintendo, I can't guarantee that with Nintendo. Maybe. So, the first announcement is that the hero from the Dragon Quest games is going to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Which surprised absolutely nobody. Because Dragon Quest is a cultural phenomenon in Japan, and it was leaked a long time ago that the hero was going to be in Dragon Quest. So, there's that. Or, the hero was going to be from Dragon Quest was going to be in Smash. And it looks good. I, I mean, I'll, I have the pass already, so I'm going to get them, and I'll play them. And I'll put on the Dragon Quest Eight skin, because I like Dragon Quest Eight a lot. Seriously, play Dragon Quest Eight. It's really good. Then they moved on to, speaking of Dragon Quest, they moved on to Dragon Quest Eleven. They didn't give off a release date in the Square Enix one, but they showed the release date here, which is September 27th. Because I will definitely buy that. I'll pour hundreds of hours into that. Because I've been looking forward to that for like a year, like two years now. Them releasing Dragon Quest on the Switch here. So I'm very excited. Any, do you have any <laughs> input on the Dragon Quest stuff? I wasn't seeing anything, remember? Uh, okay. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Which looks really good. That looks really good. Wah! He your turns into Goo Luigi. Goo Gooigi? Gooigi now? That has like soulless dead eyes that stares into your soul while you die and burn in hell for all he's, eternity. Uh, it's your dagger, he's probably your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> he's green for a reason. Eh. <laughs> Luigi's Man 3. They didn't give a release date for that. They gave a release date. I'm thinking that's gonna get delayed to 2020. There's a release date for Animal Crossing, which doesn't come out till March. But there's no release date for Luigi's Mansion 3. Probably because there's so many games coming out this year. It's yeah. Like they don't want to fun it like with other com competitions. Yeah. Well. There's really no room this year for Luigi's Mansion 3. Like there really isn't. I can't think of, like besides October, and even then October's probably gonna be busy, but December. December maybe. That'd be a good December game. Um, then they did like a Dark Crystal Tactics game, which looks weird. I don't think I'm gonna get that. You know, I like the Dark Crystal, but I'm, I'm not good at these like tactics things. Then they did Link's Awakening, which looks great, and I'm really excited to play that. Even though it makes me feel fucking old, because it came out in 1993, and he even came out and said, was like, oh, this thing was released 26 years ago, and I'm like, ugh. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Then they did the Trials of Mana remake, which that's something I've wanted Square Enix to do for a long time. Put Mana, the Mana series on the Switch. Looks like they're doing it. Great. That's something I've wanted them to do. I can cross that off my wish list. Uh, the Witcher 3. You definitely have thoughts on this. <sighs> oh, blue black. One of the most... One of the best games of Games the of, what, 2015, right? No, like, my favorite game of the fucking decade, so... Well, well, my favorite game of... Yeah, it's in the running for my favorite game of the decade. A game that pushes the limits of CPU and graphical and detail and how it works on the Switch. And favorite. I told myself, I'm like, that thing's gonna catch on fire. Is it just trying to run the, the Witcher? And they finally released an article, and I had to send it to Adam about about this whole thing, um, how the hell they're running it, and they had it down so many things to just make it run on on the port 720p 30 frames. Isn't that docked though? That's that's the dock. What about portable? Portable. Port. The other way around. Port. No. Yeah. Dock is 720. Um, portable, like 540. 540p, but they had to do so many things just to make sure it runs at 30 frames exactly. Yeah, for a game that elaborately detailed, 
scale. That's impressive. That's a fucking miracle that they got that to run. Like, uh... And what I've seen is, like, one of the big thing is really low anti-aliasing. Uh. Plus, like, the level of detail. Because it looks oh, like... Yeah. It, it looks more like a PS3 game. I haven't but, seen footage of it. Oh, there's photos. They're just photos online. Oh, they're just photos? There's photos, but it tells you how... You get to see the footage, but there's but there's photos of in the game how it is. And it shows you, like, you know, like, the detail, like, you know, all the characters are in details. You think, the, you know, they are. Yeah. But it's like, running a game like that, it's like, how? It's like... Um, the question is, why the Switch? Well... Because I think that's like one of the most like requested ports on the Switch is Witcher 3. People just didn't think it could be done. Because you look at the Witcher 3 and I'm just like, this thing is insanely detailed and I don't think this would ever run. Like I've made jokes multiple times. Like there's no fucking way they're going to get that thing running on the Switch. Imagine the Switch will catch Cyber fire trying to do that. Imagine if Cyberpunk comes out and... And Man, the Nintendo it, still doing the whole Switch thing. If, Imagine that. If they got Cyberpunk 2077 to run on the Switch, they'd have to like massively, massively take away a lot of the detail on it to get that thing to run. Even like, like a like a 480p image, portable. Forget docked. Like portable, it'd have to be like 480p or something, and run at like between 25 to 30 frames. That's, I'm shocked that like I was like no way is this The Witcher and they, I was like holy shit they actually got The Witcher three on the Switch, the Switcher. That's but what still, I heard. Still, Adam still is not getting his Resident Evil seven. No, uh, but before we get to that, they did more Fire Emblem three houses, which looks good. Then Resident Evil five and six are getting ports, which when that cringy ass trailer where they're like ooh haunted house ooh, which looked so much like the baker estate from the outside that i half expected it to be like yeah we're bringing resident evil 7 to the switch and i was like ooh but no it's 5 and 6 i'm just like why why is that why are you doing that? It should be possible with the re engine shouldn't it? it uh, maybe unless they Really, the only, like, game I can see Capcom really, like, the only games I can see Capcom really supporting the Switch with are, like, Mega Man and Phoenix Wright. Those are, like, the really the only two I can think of that they'll go out of their way to support. Because those are, like, low-tech, not low-tech, but they're, like, low-polygon. They're, like, very, like, stylized more than, like, Devil May Cry 5. Which, like, Devil May Cry 5 trying to run it, like, 60 frames on the Switch. That ain't gonna fucking happen. With the amount of detail they have in that game, they'd have to knock that down to 30. And if they, you do like Devil May Cry 5 at 30, there's no fucking point in even bringing it to the console down. There's no point. Then they did No More Heroes 3, which, thank Christ. Thank Christ. I do, I do not want to play Travis Strikes Back. I don't care. Now we're getting No More Heroes 3 in 2020. Thank Christ. Just give me, give me my No More Heroes where I can shake the Joy-Con around like it was my dick. And just recharge my lightsaber that way, because that's how you do it in Del in, in the they almost Del May Cry, in uh, No More Heroes like of old. You just shake that Joy Con around, and there you go, recharge it, make it your dick. That's the No More Heroes I know. Travis Strikes Back, that ain't my fucking No More Heroes. That's some that's a pretender. The pretender. And then we got a new Contra, which looks terrible. Mm. Which Konami, I'm like, I'm like, fuck off, fuck off, Konami. I don't care about your Contra. Um, Damon X Machina. I, I did not like the alpha that we got for it like a couple months back. Just not a fan of it. So I, I've just been kind of like tuning out to Damon X Machina stuff. Um, Panzer Dragoon. They're making a remake of that. Eh, I mean, maybe. Astral Chain, which I'm still undecided on. Like I liked the trailer that they showed, but the gameplay, I wasn't like people were like really excited by the gameplay, and I wasn't all that. I wasn't all that like wowed by the gameplay, like the raw gameplay. If I'm being honest, I just was kind of like, eh, looks okay. Then they showed um, Empire of Sin, 
which is like some mafia looking thing look kind of interesting oh, I like the trailer looked interesting uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 which looks good still looks good a lot of what was shown was like I've already seen I like we are we already know it exists, yeah, it exists. Like, obviously like Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 we know that we've known that exists since December and it looks good um, Cadence of Hyrule, which is a, like a Crypt of the Necro Dancer spinoff with Zelda. Meh. Looks interesting. Mario and Sonic and at the, the, Olympic the, the Olympics, Tokyo Olympics 2020. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm good. I, mm. That's fine. Yeah, I, you I, know. Play, I, I play the older ones. I play the older ones. Yeah. I've never played them, so I, I don't have I any. I play them, we used to just like goof around. Like, oh, you yeah. Know, like, you throw this. Okay, go for it. <laughs> I swear, I thought I threw much harder than that. <laughs> and I thought it was the one where you had to run and like jump, and I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking Mario and Sonic Olympics. Uh, then they moved on to Animal Crossing New Horizons, which I was very happy with what they showed. Um, Day one for you? No, because I have they weren't Final Fantasy VII remake, but it still looked pretty damn good. Like I'm very excited for the next Animal Animal Crossing is just one of those games. Uh, I'm not even necessarily somebody that normally likes these like social simulator ones, like the stuff like Stardew Valley and what have you. But like I I really like Stardew Valley by the way. But Animal Crossing is always a game like like it's the series has great music. It's always been like very relaxing, and it's always a very like nice, chill game. You can just do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about like meters or anything like that. You just you hey you want to go chop this tree down? You can go do that. You can spend your time fishing. It's just a very chill game. And this one seems to be like Tom Nook is you buy like a getaway package to a deserted island. And then it eventually just becomes more populated with, with people and, and the, the typical cast of characters. And yes, Isabella's in it. I've heard Isabella's in it. Which is nice. Isabella's awesome. So, Animal Crossing. Looks really good. March 20th, 2020. I was very happy that it got delayed out of 2019. Because I was going to shit a brick if it came out in, t in November. You... There are too many games in November this year. You will probably start like, I don't know, I'm probably ask for like a new credit card. Maybe. Like, <laughs> like November this year, it's like fucking Jedi Fallen Order, Pokemon Sword, um, oh yeah, that Pokemon Sword looks still looks good. Doom, um, Death Stranding, and yeah, but that's like one, at least one game every week for like three weeks straight, which, ah! Can I go through those like... I gotta use up. Yeah. Morning yeah. Um. Then they did the thing that I have been waiting for for quite a while now. The Roblox Two. Yes. They put my boy Banjo. Uh, my my homies Banjo Kazooie and Smash Brothers. And. This no, is more guys, don't worry. Yeah. much more excited. He's green. Yes. This is why I don't make fun of people that nerd out during movie trailers. Like when the new Marvel movie comes out, when the new trailer or the new Star Wars trailer comes out. I don't like making fun of those people. As tempting as it is, because like I said with my Persona 5 the Royal Edition video, I know good and goddamn well that I will do the exact same thing that I will make fun of them for if it's for a game trailer that I'm really, really excited for. Just like when I did with Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4 and me with like Kingdom Hearts 3 when that was first announced. And The Last of Us Part 2. The Last of Us Part 2 and, and Final Fantasy 7 Remake for me as well. Um, I like lost my shit. You can, you can hear it. You, you want to hear a grown man making an embarrassing spectacle of himself over Banjo-Kazooie, you can go watch my video where I literally cut that out of the live reaction. Like, here. Separated video. There you go. Which, I was... And they showed gameplay. Uh, Spiral Mountain is the, is the map, or is the stage, which looks great. 
uh, Grantilda is in it. You got the the Jinjos as uh, the final smash. Now I, I have to buy Smash Brothers. Now you have to buy Smash Brothers. Talk and, about our and friend, friend. Our friend. That what 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 James did. Oh, friends. so. <laughs> One of my best friends, uh, he is like a mega Banjo Kazooie fan. Okay, like I remember in high school when he used to draw like sketches of Banjo Kazooie all the time. Like his his PlayStation name is literally Roshan Kazooie. That literally is his PSN name, Roshan Kazooie. And I messaged him the day after the Nintendo conference, and I said, "Hey man, what do you think about Nintendo and Smash?" Or uh, what do you? My stupid ass. What do you think about Banjo Kazooie in Smash? And he said, "Man, as soon as I heard that, I bought out. So I went out and bought a Switch. <laughs> the minute I heard that, I went out and bought a Switch. And I was like, "Damn, really?" He's like, "Yep, I did it. I bought Smash. Yep." He I bought okay. Smash. What else did he buy? I think he bought Breath of the Wild. Even though he already played it on the Wii U, he just bought it again for the Switch. I was like, "Okay, fair play." Banjo and Smash. That's pretty fucking it's, it's awesome. Happening. It happens. It's now, happening. now they just need Sora and Smash, and I won't ask for anything from Mr. Sakurai ever again. I will never ask that man for anything ever again if they just put Sora and Smash. I will be happy. That's it. Video games can be achieved now. The height of video games, Sora and Smash. Make it happen. Can you that game no. PlayStation would never allow that. <laughs> um, Imagine it happened. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Weirder things have happened. Then it ended with not necessarily a bombshell because we, we already knew, like we all knew that they were doing this. They're making a sequel to Breath of the Wild, and I but I was shocked by how much of it they showed. I was surprised that they actually have like fully animated stuff to show not gameplay of course because god forbid we show gameplay at e3 but in this case with zelda i'm willing to make that exception because with breath of the wild 2 all you have to do is show like a little bit you can literally just flash a jpeg and be like hey breath of the wild 2 in development but they actually showed like cutscenes of it and i was like whoa this looks creepy and dark and scary and that's awesome and i love that I want more of this, please, because I've been going through Breath of the Wild again, and I like it. I don't think it's my favorite Zelda game, but I like it. I think it's a good game, and I will gladly take more of it, and be it in the form of like a sequel, because then this sequel does sound promising. That was the big one. Big, like People lost their shit when they saw that. Not as much as they lost their shit when they saw Banjo-Kazooie, but they lost their shit when they saw that. So anyway. I know you didn't watch Nintendo, but was there anything about it that like really stood out to you? I've been like hogging the mic this whole time. Cause I'm the one that watched the Nintendo one. I s I gotta start buying games now. Yes, you do. Cause I know I have a Switch. It's not mine. It is my little brother's. You can still hog it. I can still hog it cause Don't I can do it. whatever I want. <laughs> um. Go play for Obviously, I am behind Mario Odyssey. Yes, that's I the am best one. Behind uh, Legend of Zelda. Even though I've never played one, none of them. Well, pa I played probably one of them when I was a kid, but not like the full thing. Sure. Um, I want Metroid Prime. Yes. That's that I played as a kid. I even had it on my Game Boy. Uh, Game Boy was it Game Boy Events? I have those back then. Yeah. Uh, but I am getting Smash. Good. Banjo Kazooie, of course. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be a James now. <laughs> yeah, but you, at least you are. I, I have a Switch, yeah. But um, I'm really looking forward to what else Nintendo's doing right now. They like they didn't even show the like they didn't even show like Bayonetta three. They didn't show Metroid Prime four. And they still just like bitch slapped everybody else at E3 and just walked away with, with the number one spot, for me at least. They just came in and were like, hey, Luigi's Mansion 3, hey, 
Animal Crossing. Hey, Banjo and Smash. Hey, Hero and Smash. Hey, Astral Chain. Hey, Breath of the Wild sequel. Boom, we're done. Bye. It was just, they just boom, 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 boom. Done. 40 minutes. Drop the mic. Ran out. They're done. That was impressive. But I'm still sad. <laughs> Why? Sony. Yeah, no Sony this year. You definitely felt it, though. This I year. felt it. I, I felt I it. felt their lack this, this of is, a presence. This is... For years, you and me have, you know, watched the Sony conference together mm -hmm. for about, what, the last five years? Five years, yeah. Five years in a row, we watched Sony. It's one of those things, it's like, 40, you know... 2014, 15, 16, Five. Five years. Five years. It's one of those things, like, you know, we just... It's like... It's a tradition. Still it's a tradition, but it's like, you know, the presence of Sony, it's like... I don't know, like, you felt like there was just, like, a... There's a hole. Yeah. There's a hole, and it's like, you know... Like, you, you, you've seen it, because, like... It's, you know, every three, you know, everyone's looking forward to what Sony has. And, like, this year, it's like, no. Yes, we know Sony said they, they don't have anything. They have stuff. They have stuff, but the problem is... what I, I know this is not part of the video with Nintendo and everything, but always yeah. Japan, Japan. There you go. Yeah. I know Sony is planning something really big. Oh, sure. And they're just going to knock Microsoft out of the fucking park again. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll Hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see. But, like, you know, you may never know, you know, maybe they have something up on their sleeves. We don't know. But hopefully, that's, that's, that's the idea. Yeah. But, at all, Nintendo did a great job with, with what I'm hearing and what I've seen of the clips. They actually did a good job of E3. Yeah. Yeah. The Nintendo saw this coming. Like, they were smart. Like, a lot of people made fun of them initially when they started, like, foregoing traditional conferences and just did the directs. This is the way of the future. Like, and it's been proven that, like, why spend tons of money on these stupid press conferences where you can just get your information out just, like, quick, quick and easy. You all you, you don't even, you don't have to come to them. The people will come to you. All Nintendo has to do is put out a, a, like a, a fucking uh, blog post or a twit a tweet and says hey here's another direct this time on this date at this time boom the people will show up like by, by the hundreds of thousands people will show up and they will get so much free press out of it and they didn't have to rent floor space they didn't have to prep for anything all they had to do was just make and edit a video and then, even then that takes hard work but it does not cost anywhere near as much as putting on a show like Microsoft or Square Enix would do this year. So, yeah. Good on Nintendo. They saw the future and they like got ahead of the competition like, like years before everyone else, which is impressive. Uh, final grade for me, uh, I'll go with a B. Really solid B, just because I think the last half of it was like much stronger than the first half of it, and somewhere there was like the, there was like some of the stuff that really missed the mark, like the Resident Evil the ports and the Contra and the some of the other stuff. I was just like, eh. But man, when 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 Nintendo like hit the bullseye, they like really hit the bullseye like hard, and that was just great. Loved it. So solid B for me. Nintendo easily like won E3 this year. Just walked away with it. So anyway. That is it for the the E3 talk. Yeah, that's it. that's it. That's it. Thank you, Mario, for joining me. As always, good sir. Nice. Thank you for having me. It's fun doing these things. You know, I hogged the mic. <laughs> this one, at least. Well, that's well obvious because you know I I I'm didn't not watch a, a conference. Nintendo fanboy, you're but... not. You're not a Nintendo fan, but but you are excited I'm, I'm... what what they are showing yeah. and what they are doing. Oh yeah. They're, they're you know. making really exciting stuff, and I'm very happy with what they're doing. And I'm pretty excited on the, on the future games I'm buying for the yeah. Switch as well. I'm excited to liquidate all my savings to spend towards these games. You're lucky like your mother didn't hear that. She would have been like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but. What? <laughs> what? What? What the fuck did you just say? Take down my door like it's shining. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like a sledgehammer. Yeah. You know, she grabs my wooden baseball bat, <laughs> breaks down the door with it. 
takes one of my samurai swords. What the fuck? <laughs> so anyway, that's been E3. And thank you to everyone out there for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.